you probably came here totally spontaneously. So it's a sign that this message is for you, so pay attention to it. First of all, I know that many times you can find yourself kinda stuck. Maybe you can find yourself off the zone. Maybe you can find yourself a little bit stressed, a little bit in worry of the future. What will happen? You can't predict it, so you don't know what will happen. And you're kinda in panic, maybe. But don't worry, don't be misled by the illusion. Because deep inside, your soul knows that all the answers are coming from the source within you. And many times when we are paying too much attention to our environment, we are forgetting of who we truly are, deep in the core of our own existence. So with this message, I want to encourage you to stop for a moment, disconnect from the environment and go back within yourself and truly ask yourself what you want to focus on because wherever you place your focus, you make it grow. You are sending your life force to the things that you are focusing on. Where is your attention? Because when we are lost or misled by the illusion of our environment, of all the things that are happening around us, many times we get lost there. So we start focusing on all the worries, all the fears, what can go wrong, what people are saying about us. And we are forgetting that at the deep fundamental core of our existence, we are creators and we are here on this planet to experience what we are creating. So I want to repeat this. We are here on this planet to experience what we are creating, to physically experience how love feels like, how we can sense the food that we are cooking, we can hear beautiful sounds, beautiful music, so we can see beautiful art, beautiful nature, and so on. We are here to experience beauty and Again, don't worry about all the negative thoughts. Also, negative thoughts are not bad. Let me explain you. Negative thoughts are in your mind. So you can know easily what is good for you, what you want to focus on, what you want to create, what you want to experience. How we can know that from negative thoughts? Negative thoughts are always telling us what we don't like. So when we understand what we don't like, we can know what we like, what we want to experience. When we know what we want to experience, we can start thinking about it. When we start thinking about it, our mind will automatically start creating forms, pictures in the mind. And that's where we start visualizing the future. We start visualizing the wanting future what we would truly like to experience. As soon as we get into that state of mind, we become truly creative. Brain goes from beta to alpha brainwave state and we become like an artist's architects of our reality. As soon as we step there, also body will follow the mind. You will become the master. You as the consciousness will become the master of this process and body will follow the mind. So you will start experiencing greater emotions. Many times I can see questions how to elevate emotions of love, how to elevate emotions of joy. And here is the process. Wherever you place your focus, that's what your body is experiencing. So as I said before, body is following the mind and who is mastering the mind? Who is controlling the mind? Who is leading the mind? You can imagine as mind is a car, but attention is driving that car. So wherever you place your attention, that's where the car will go. And if your body is that vehicle, that car, you as the awareness, as consciousness, 
have ability and opportunity to place your attention wherever you want, wherever you will place your attention, that's what you will create, you will start designing it, your body will start experiencing it emotionally and you will create a feeling in the body. Feeling is language which speaks with the universe, divine matrix as scientists are calling it now. So if you want to understand the power of prayer, you will learn to use your feelings as the language. You will learn to use the feelings to communicate with the universe. So how to create a feeling of something? For example, if you would like to manifest a partner in your life, you need to create a feeling as you are already in that loving relationship. It's really simple. Once we understand that when we feel love within us, we experience love also outside of us. Once we learn to understand that when we think about having or being in love, body will feel loved. So that's self-love and when we experience that self-love, we will experience it also physically. We will manifest it. So that's the secret of how to create feeling. If we go more into details, again, how to elevate emotions, you need to have a clear thought, a precise idea of what you want to focus on, a clear thought, or I like to say a vision of the future. Visualize the thing that you would like to experience and create a daily practice out of visualizing it, walking into that future, being inspired by it, being truly passionate about thinking about it. Imagine as you're already there and how everything feels like. As soon as you will step into that vision mentally in your mind's eye, your body will follow to that vision. You will experience emotions of it. Just ask yourself how I would feel like right now if I would already have it. Ask that question because your body will answer to you. And when you will get the answer, you will create a feeling. When you will experience emotions, you will create a feeling. Feeling, like I said before, is speaking with the universe. Feeling is the voice of your heart. When we combine thoughts and emotions, we create feeling. And feeling is the language of your heart and it is directly speaking with the universe. So don't worry about the things that are happening around you. It's time to say that we are emerging. Like always, every single day a part of us is dying. So a new part of us, a new self can emerge. And many times it feels like that we are relearning of who we think we are so we can understand more of who we truly are. And to connect with the truth, we need to connect with the soul. We need to get within because our environment can only trigger us to do that. We can find many messages around us. The universe is always speaks through you. It is always showing you signs. But to truly become aware, to truly become aware of who you truly are, what is the truth, you need to go into the core of yourself. You need to sit down. You need to get into the quiet space. It can be nature. It can be a room where you not, will not be disturbed. And you, you need to go deeply through the feelings, through the emotions, into the peaceful state where you will know that you are the light. You are the light being behind all the illusions, behind the identities. You are much bigger than that. And you are truly limitless. You are amazing. So don't be misled by worry and fear. It is just guiding you to experience greatness. So every time when you will experience fear, just know that you are in the zone where you need to upgrade yourself. You need to overcome that fear. And it's not 
Like, your mission is not to run away from the fear. It is about dealing with it. It's about growing from it. So, even if you're running away from it, it will be waiting you as long as you will not overcome it. So, that's about it. Negative thoughts are not bad, don't worry about that. They're just showing you what you truly want, what you truly like, and what is truly good for you. And fear is here so you can grow, so you can develop your true self. That's it. I'm sending you love, my friends. I'm sending you power and blessings. Have a beautiful time and see you soon. One love.